welcome back. Part three out of our five part series at the Wiser slash Penn Forest Walk. Today's episode, we're starting right next to the second geocache for part two. Down this uneventful trail. Hopefully. <laughs> that is grass. <laughs> As I said, and we have to go through a pond filled with alligators. Nah, just kidding. We're not in Florida. We're in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a rock wall covered with rattlesnakes. That'll be our luck. Although, haven't ran across that yet either. Um, wildlife, really Nothing don't see done. much. I think we talk too much. I think that's what's wrong with us. We go out, we talk about geocaching while we're geocaching, and we're filming, and we're projecting. And I just think we're so loud that everything just leaves. Or it could be why the hunters really don't get nothing in the area. One of the two. Yeah. So hopefully in a mile, should I say a mile, uh, um, 1.1 miles, should I say, hopefully nothing eventful will happen and we'll get to ground zero and we'll find this one. We're kind of a little up in the air of what's going to happen because of the location um, and the name. So is it in the middle of the intersection? That'd be neat. Buried, or is it just by the intersection of the trails? You know what I mean? No, you don't. Part of the name has to do with the center of the cross. All I'm going to tell you. If we see anything interesting, we'll come back and show you. If not, see you at Ground Zero. Yeah, there's a clear path around. Our first little obstacle, if we would have brought the bikes, we would have had to just go around this down tree here. But it's been here so long that there's actually a path around the tree. And then again, grass trail with nothing. We're just watching out to make sure we don't hear that little rattle while we're walking. <laughs> when we headed down here, we were pretty much spot on with our prediction. This traditional small two difficulty two terrain is right in the middle of the intersection we were not wrong when we predicted what if it's in the middle of the intersection well it is you got a four-way intersection here and you have this mound of ferns with uh let's see there's a blue rock a white rock you have a concrete white piece of pipe sticking out of it that's metal. I mean, wow. So this is ground zero. Let's show you your three close-ups now. Location number one from ground zero. You walk in. You find a blue rock. You move this one. You turn it over. No hole. Then you see this one. Give it a roll. And here you have the container being guarded by ants. Could location number one be the correct geocache location? For location number two, you walk in. You have the blue rocks. You have a white rock. Down along the white rock, mixed in all the ferns, is your container. Right here. Could location number two be the correct geocache location? For location number three, come on over again. Blue rock for one, white rock for two. Over here in the ferns, we have a concrete with a pipe sticking out of it. Could this container be next to that concrete in number three? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, big, huge, wide intersection. Ground zero for part three, that way for four and five. But we're not there yet. We got to get this one over with. So, is it location one under the blue rocks? Location two next to the white rock or location number three next to the concrete and pipe? Where do you think it is? Or zero. Exactly. He reminded you. Zero. Not in the middle of the intersection at all. Somewhere in one of these trees. 
a nice little stump over there that's pretty tall. That has a hole in the top. Maybe it was in there. Who knows? Maybe it was hanging over here in this tree behind the camera. You never know. There is a little bit of a lip here. Something could have been attached to. All right, folks. Leave a comment down below on which one you think it is right now. Steve, get rid of one. Be nice. Get rid of zero. All right. So it's here. But it's not a number three. Nope. Number three, I think when the ferns die, it would be a little too much out in the open. Well, now to tell you which one's right, we're right after these quick words. Don't forget to enter the GeoSense Challenge giveaway. Yeah, enter so that you can prevent me from winning again. <laughs> and the only way to stop him from winning is by you entering now. If you know a veteran that could use some help, with their mental health. Let them know about MakeTheConnection.net today. All right, folks. One, two. One, two. A one and a two and a one and a two. All right. All right. I'll stop dancing. It's not what you came here for. PA Fireman 3 walked right up. He moved this one. No cash. And then he moved the bigger one. Location number one is the correct location. Watch out for the ants. Yes. There's an ant colony here. Time to put the cash back and have it being guarded one more time. So if you happen to come out here in the forest that we're in, and you happen to see this ground zero, and you go, wow, those blue and white rocks look familiar. And now you know where to look, under the blue. Hopefully you picked it. If you did, your geosensors are good. Now, we're gonna end part three. And then we're gonna go down, to, then we're gonna go down and start filming four. As always, thank you for watching. Happy trails, happy caching, and go out and get a smile with you.